Just please be careful with that big sword in battle, okay? I huh? certainly wouldn't want to be on the other end. So, where are we off to now? Sure thing. Thank you. What's our next move? Do you need something? Got it. This is gorgeous. Sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Well, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards me. When you shout, <laughs> you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, a second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Gro. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn to shout. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of growth. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. <laughs> I love how Serana is just like walking in front of me while I'm trying to shout. <laughs> Perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Do you need something? Sure. In which skill? I can teach you how to be a better mage, alchemist, and overall better charmer. After all, I am a woman of many talents. 
All right then, let's begin. I love that you can if you if your alchemy is like low level you can have you can have our bait Serana teach you <laughs> it's kind of cool <laughs> you will now see how you learn a completely new shaman master <laughs> Bori will teach you wood which means whirlwind Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a stone. Okay. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. <sighs> Wolf! Attack! Now, your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb. I, I love the it. ancient fame she's, of Ustengrad. She's praying like the, um, to the way of the voice. Greybeards. I think that's cool. Five. Our leader, Partanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. As I said, you will know you are ready 
when your voice can open the path to him. No doubt the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Okay. Sky above, voice within. What's our next move? Never saw anything like this back on the island. I'm so glad I left that place. Aww. This elk and I are having a stare down. <laughs> I bet that one just got in the way. Did you see that? Oh. That was hilarious. That elk and I were having a stare down, and then this one just this de oh deer just runs in out of nowhere. Oh, is this another one of those sinister seven? Don't stop healing, you jackass! Okay, so this is the second one sent after you. So I've heard of your machinations, his debt to your repaid. You knew this would happen. You knew that the Thunder would never be able to succeed. He is more beast than man, and no beast is capable, capable of killing such a cunning prey. Vinyl the Wretched is not to be underestimated. I have, now, I have not only heard of stories of her tenacity, I have also seen the bodies left on her trail. Your magic will not be able to succeed alone. You will wait for my arrival and we will ambush Vinyl the Wretched. Your magic keeping her ensnared and my poisoned arrows landing the killing blow. An inescapable death. And if she gets too close, my thumb will keep her at bay. Oh. So this guy, this guy also knows the thumb as well.
Looks like we're here. Let's get to it, shall we? So, what's on your mind? As much as anyone else, I suppose. Which is not much. I've read about this Jürgen Windcaller in a book. Mm, pocket Guide to the Empire, I think. Anyway. He was a legendary Nord hero from the First Era, and apparently prominent among the tongues. That is, masters of the voice. Like you, he would smite his foes with powerful shouts until he renounced using the Thune for military purposes. Hence, the moniker, Jorgen the Calm. Was he a dragonborn too? That, I just don't know. Nope, nothing. All I do know is that Ustengrav is Windcaller's final resting place. You've been to a few barrows already, haven't you? If Bleak Falls didn't give you any trouble, I'm sure we'll be done with this one in no time. <laughs> 